Sia Bulela Kako and Derek Jagas live in the sprawling township of Kailita in South Africa's Western Cape. Both men are openly gay. South Africa is the only country on the African continent with laws that protect the rights of lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender LGBT persons. I'm very happy to be born in South Africa actually to, like I'm free to listen and to hear and to read things about gays being discriminated against, being arrested, being murdered, being burnt for being gay in other countries like Uganda and stuff. It makes me feel happy to be in South Africa because here I've got rights as a gay person. But despite the legal provisions, there have been reported assaults against gays and lesbians in Kailitia in the last few years. Derek and Sia Bulela, however, say things have slowly begun to change and some of the people in Kailitia have started to accept the gay community. I think now compared to, I'll say, five years ago, there is totally a change. Not 100% certain, but there is a change. People are getting to quite familiar about gay men that are around the township, whatsoever, and the stigma has decreased in such a way. Zaki Ahmad is a prominent gay rights and HIV AIDS activist. He is well known as a founder of the Treatment Action Campaign TAC, which fought for the provision of affordable antiretroviral ARV drugs for South Africa's poor in the 1990s. Akmat also formed the National Coalition for Gay and Lesbian Equality, which was also instrumental in the campaign to enshrine gay rights in the Constitution. South Africa passed laws recognizing same-sex marriage in 2006, but according to Akmat, legal rights do not mean gay people do not experience homophobia. The impact is more severe if they are from impoverished families and cannot fend for themselves. We've got an excellent constitution. As a gay man, I, uh, I'm, I can do anything I wish to do within the law. And the law gives lesbian and gay, bisexual, transgender people enormous amount of freedom. However, if you're working class, white or black, and you're gay, you're largely dependent on your family. Every year, a Pride March is held in Cape Town to celebrate gay rights in South Africa. This year, the focus was on African countries that have recently enacted or tightened punitive laws that targeted LGBT persons. 37 states on the continent ban homosexuality. I think I feel so bad for my Nigerian gay guys, uh, my friends, my pals over there. and. Um, I don't think it's necessary because it's life, it's emotion. You can't stop our life. We have to live, that's the way we were born and we were born that way. It's very hard to convert millions of people into understanding that really the value is loving one another. How we love one another is not the issue, it's that we love one another. And it's trying to take people through the whole education of what the Bible really means. That will take many, many years. Still, Ahmad says that gay rights activists should also fight for other marginalized people and should defend all human rights. While the members of the gay community in South Africa can express themselves freely, many across the continent continue to live in the shadows as African states enforce or adopt harsher laws. Those who oppose homosexuality argue that the measures are aimed at defending family life from attack and maintaining their cultural and religious beliefs.